My name is Michael A. Helen, and I am tuning in from where I currently live, New York City. I am an urban planner these days, working in communities throughout the Northeast, and with me I carry the experience that I had as a Rotary Ambassadorial Scholar in the, between 2012 and 2013. It was an unforgettable experience, and I am thrilled to have another opportunity to express my appreciation to the members of the Downtown Knoxville Rotary Club. My Rotary experience was truly unforgettable. I spent 11 months in Brisbane, Australia. That's District 9600, so on the map behind me, that's Australia. It's definitely a long way from home, but I felt welcome from the very moment I set foot there. My time in Brisbane flew by, however, I definitely seized a lot of opportunities, including a number of service projects through the Road Rack Club of South Brisbane. I helped raise money for homeless populations, for transportation services to low-income areas, as well as education in Nepal. It was an inspiring group of young individuals, and I kind of, I carry their energy and enthusiasm with me on my service projects today. My name is Ansley Hammond Schrimpf, and I was a 2006 Ambassadorial Scholar to South Africa. My Rotary experience began when the Rotary Club of Knoxville chose me as a University of Tennessee student and a native of Spring City, Tennessee, to spend a year studying photojournalism during the fall of apartheid in Cape Town, South Africa. My chancellor was Desmond Tutu. My local club was the Rotary Club of Belleville, and I spent an entire year of my life traveling throughout Southern Africa to South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana, talking to Rotarians all along the way about good old East Tennessee. I've had discussions about Hank Williams Jr., Dolly Parton, and some of the most remote areas of Africa. Hello, I'm Paul Van Buren from the Mount Juliet Rotary Club in uh, Tennessee. My experience goes back to 1974 when I was an agricultural missionary in the Mindanao, the Philippines. I was working with the resettlement of uh, Christians and Muslim refugees from a conflict that was going on at the time. Now flash forward uh, 33 more years when I have taken a group study exchange to uh, we were in Nigeria visiting the different clubs and one of the clubs was Kano. It's a northern uh, city of Nigeria where there's much unrest over the years between Muslims and Christians. I was uh, informed about a project of the Rotary Club to build a bridge over a stream that divided the two communities. I thought that was very symbolic of what Rotary can do in building bridges and my experience is that Rotary has that potential on an international level. Rotary has impacted my life in a number of different ways. Many of you, I hope, remember me from high school where I was an Interact Club member and then on to Rotaract and then became a Rotary Ambassadorial Scholar. It's been extremely valuable uh, for a number of reasons. First off, giving those 29 speeches to clubs throughout Brisbane and to diverse audiences really taught me the value of having confidence in yourself and, and, and preparing for speeches in general because that's what I do all the time these days and I don't go a single speech in the Northeast region without thinking about that rotary experience of, of giving them on a weekly basis. It, it was truly valuable for that reason. As, but more importantly, it, it taught me the value of community service. I, from, from the time I was an interactor onward, I was working with downtown, downtown Rotary Club members who really valued community service, and I thought, this is something I can commit myself to. And without that experience with Rotary, I don't think I would value community service as much as I do. And I really can't think of my life without these community service projects, so I'm really grateful for Rotary for showing me the way on that. And then last... Rotary and my time as an ambassadorial scholar taught me what it is to be an ambassador and what it is to develop these cross-cultural relationships and building this network of cross-cultural communication that fosters goodwill. And in turn, I was profoundly affected by 
all the people I met and the experiences I had and the opportunity to study um, such a trying time in South African history. When I came back to East Tennessee, I spoke to more than 30, 67, 80 clubs about my experience all the way out to the farthest reaches of the district. I uh, worked at the Knoxville New Sentinel for, for a year and a half and had the opportunity to spend my lunches with probably many of you. Um, but, but my Rotary experience didn't stop there. I joined the Rotary Club of West Knoxville and eventually uh, did go back to law school. And I can't say enough for what that year did for me as a person and as a Rotarian. Um. I have become more intentional about reaching out to people who are migrating to this country. Uh, we just had recently had a member join from Ethiopia, and I think this has a great impact, especially today when the tensions have been rising between Muslim and Christian communities. I think this experience will help other clubs in reaching out. My Rotary experience didn't just impact my life, it impacted the lives of others as well. So I was involved in a number of different service projects while down there, and you know it impacted those members of the Brisbane community as well as the international projects we worked on. But today, that belief and that commitment to community service that Rotary even fostered in me has led to me working on community projects here in New York City. I work in a number of diverse communities in the area, um, many of which are facing a lot of challenges. And I'm working with some of the middle school and high school students to reevaluate those challenges and turn those into opportunities. I'm encouraging them to become leaders in their own community, to build skills that, that take them from where they are to where they want to be. And I see service as a major component to that, so I encourage them to get involved in whatever way possible, whether it's just helping out your neighbor with some task or actually volunteering for an organization such as Interact um, to develop those leadership skills. This is something that I would not have would not be doing without Rotary and the experience that Rotary had. All those years of Rotary investing in me when I was a teenager are really paying off as I pass it along and pay it forward to today's youth and as they grow and become leaders in their own community. My Rotary experience didn't end with the Ambassadorial Scholarship. The, the, good, cl the good Club of West Knoxville recruited me in and uh, I continued as a Rotarian at the Rotary Club of Capitol Hill when I was in law school and thereafter um, joined Rotary One in Chicago and helped charter an evening club here, the Rotary Club Cosmopolitan. I've been involved in numerous projects, um, in lots of alumni activities, and also recruiting um, scholars, uh, at least in, in my club in DC. And I continue to, to work with Rotary and, and plan to for the rest of my life. It so profoundly affected me as a person and my community um, back in East Tennessee, and I want to carry that forward. And here in the cradle of Rotary, I've had the opportunity to reach out to, to the younger generation and really be a part of how we move Rotary forward into, into the next century. And I thank you so much, 6780, for investing in me and allowing me to carry Rotary forward. I have seen this as an opportunity at an international level that uh, we can build bridges in many ways with other clubs in other countries and in my experience of uh, working with uh, developments in Zimbabwe and uh, developing relationships with the clubs in that uh, community we were able to build uh, water wells. Uh, we had several dug wells and we did health projects and AIDS programs. So as I see Rotary reaching out, my club has sponsored a number of these projects in my travels back and forth to Zimbabwe.